Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our monthly sound healing at Living Well Cancer Resource Center in Geneva, Illinois. I am coming to you live from the Geneva, Illinois location. My name is Jenny Bergold, and this is our third month of gathering and coming together live on Facebook with the sound healing. And each month I have brought a little bit different instruments with me. Uh, and so today, well, I'll explain the instruments because um, if you've never done a sound healing before, uh, I'll explain then all the instruments and you get to relax. That's the beauty of this. So if you had a nice tasty lunch and now you can, you know, sit or lie down and relax and digest and uh, receive the benefits and the healing of the sound healing instruments themselves. Uh, I would suggest sometimes uh, earphones or earbuds or uh, headphones work best so that you can hear the sounds the best, but that's not necessary. Uh, I would suggest finding a comfortable spot. You can lie in a bed. This is awesome because, um, no, I'm not seeing you. And so uh, you could be on the couch, you could be on the floor, you could be, um, be careful, but I've had people say, oh, I took a bath and had my phone across the room and listened to the whole thing while I was taking a bubble bath. Um, so where you're at, um, don't drive though, that's my one suggestion, uh, is to find a comfortable spot for you to completely relax and receive the healing. Um, so today, uh, and I've been doing this for 10 years, sound healing for 10 years and teaching yoga for 14 years. I live in the area and I teach in the Geneva St. Charles Batavia area as well as the Chicagoland area. And if you have any questions, you know, I'm, I'm sort of far away from the phone, but I'd be happy to answer questions after we log off. So if you have any questions or comments, you're always welcome to leave below and I will address those after we are finished. Today, and I know maybe you can't see everything, but I do have two singing crystal bowls. One is for the solar plexus chakra. So I work with your chakras, C-H-A-K-R-A, and they're energy centers that go from the base of the spine to the crown of the head, and then your aura surrounds you, that energy field. So I have solar plexus as well as the heart center. So those are the two crystal bowls that I brought today. I have two Koshi chimes, one for the water element and one for the earth element. I have a beautiful new kalimba, which I want to thank a member at Delnor Health and Fitness Center, an anonymous member, gifted me this yesterday. And so I'll be playing this as part of the sound healing. It's absolutely gorgeous. It brings, uh, it's a finger harp and it brings beautiful, just beautiful sounds. So I want to thank the anonymous donor of our new kalimba because my old kalimba is shaped like a bear. <laughs> so we'll, we'll work with both of those. Um, I also have chimes for solar plexus heart throat. I have new bells that work with the heart center. I have seven Tibetan bowls for the seven chakras. Um, that's in front of me. And I have some chimes, mostly for the heart. And new, I think I've never brought these before to Living Well. So I brought my Solfeggio chimes. And a lot of people sa say it kind of sounds like, like church bells or an organ. Um, but these are all tuned for overall emotional health and wellness, mental health and wellness. So I'll play those behind me. This gong, Uranus, it's actually yesterday was my 10 year anniversary of playing this gong. Uh, it was a memory on Facebook. Thank goodness for our memories on Facebook or else would we remember what we did 10 years ago. Um, but this gong is uh, sacral chakra, so more reproductive organs, uh, lower back, sciatic, and helps to balance hormones and emotions. The moon gong, brought the moon gong because that's what we're working with today is this new moon in Pisces. That was yesterday and I'll get to that. But this moon is third eye center and crown working with pituitary pineal overall brain health, memory, focus, and concentration. 
Uh, so that's that gone. I think that's everything today. Um, so this new moon in Pisces that we had yesterday, um, my son's a Pisces, working with the water element and that go with the flow energy. But at the beginning here, I'll read to you um, something that I printed about this new moon energy. We'll go into the entire sound healing where, where you will relax the entire time. And then uh, I do have a poem by my beautiful friend Maureen. And uh, so I'll read that at the end and it's titled New Moon, New Moon Blessings that I'll read. Um, so I hope that is good explanation to start out with. Um, so I'll play at least for the next 50 minutes. And then, uh, you know, I'll bring you back to the space. I'll read the poem and we'll finish the sound healing together. All of this works on a cellular level uh, with hertz and notes and vibrations. Um, yes, it does work through our technology or through the phone. Not as much as you would be in person, like actually feeling the vibrations, but just the notes, the actual notes uh, themselves will come through technology so that it can work with the certain parts of the body. If anybody ever has more questions about sound healing itself, you're welcome to message me and I'd be happy to have that conversation with you. So with all that being said, thank you again for joining us. Find a comfortable position for you, whether it be lying down with a bunch of blankets, snuggling with pets, each other, um, sitting in a chair, you know, to make yourself comfy and to be able to receive the benefits of the sound healing. So make yourself comfy. I would suggest breathing deep, taking a few deep breaths for two or three minutes. That also helps to stimulate the vagus nerve. So some big diaphragmatic breaths. If you have any intentions for yourself, you know, why you decided to tune in today and rest. If there are any parts of the body that need extra healing, you can send your attention there. And if you'd like to dedicate this sound healing to someone else, you can send them loving vibrations as well. So at the time of this new moon, the sky goes dark. Not even a small crescent of the moon can be seen. Darkness has always been synonymous with the creative feminine that lives within all of us. It is in the darkness that creative energy is at its highest. It is in the darkness that we often feel safe enough to become our true selves and where our deepest emotions are often set free. So this Pisces new moon, we may be feeling close to this darkness. We may find ourselves journeying through the shadows or coming face to face with whatever has been dwelling in the hidden corners of our heart, mind, and soul. It is easy to be afraid of the dark as it can often stir things we do not wish to confront. But this confrontation is often necessary to lead a richer and fuller life. It's necessary to discover ourselves on a deeper level and move past any blocks or barriers. There is a strength that can be found when we allow ourselves to sit in the dark. Just think of a seed. As it is submerged into the dark soil, it really has just been positioned to grow and flourish into something new and grand. This can be said for all of us. 
Darkness is also the foundation for magical energies of creation and manifestation. It is in the darkness that energy can be morphed into something great. It is the darkness that new life takes hold. So again, planting those seeds of manifestation, of new beginnings, of new possibilities, resting into the sounds, the vibrations, just be. And I will see you on the other side.
there is a strength that comes with submerging into the dark. Like dark soil, deep seed, clothed in darkness, waiting to bloom, emerging into the light. Some say fear rules the dark, but in the silence of it, our secrets dwell, singing to the stars for bold dreams to break through, forever seeking the beginnings of a new way of living, loving, creating, and being. Some say the dark is thick with the impossible, but through the dark, the possible came. Universes came gleaming with brilliant wonder, wondrous beginnings, and th through the dark, and though the dark may think of us as vulnerable, we wait in the shadows to rise, luminous in our light, shining the way, guiding each other through to our power and purpose. It is there past the dark trees. It is there past the dark hills. It is there through and to the dark new moon, the brave new way of living our lives the brave new way of loving this world.
If you're on your back, stretching long overhead, just be careful of your surroundings. Bringing the legs closer together, spreading through the fingers, pointing through the toes, a full body stretch, body yawn. And if you're on your back, hugging knees into chest. You rubbing hands together and the soles of the feet together like a cricket. Hugging the knees back in. And roll to the left side using left arm as a pillow. mind find confidence let my soul find peace let me fulfill my life's purpose let me live my life with the attitude of gratitude I love myself I heal myself I bless myself I am myself and we thank all of you very much for joining us this afternoon namaste and just Know that each sound healing every month will be saved on the timeline here on the Living Well Cancer Resource Center's Facebook page. We also put it on YouTube. Um, and so you're welcome to watch and enjoy anytime. I do suggest sound healings before you go to sleep, before you go to bed or take a nap. Um, and I also suggest drinking lots of water after you listen to a sound healing, as well as sometime today getting in water, especially with this new moon in Pisces. So, you know, taking a bath or a shower, or just washing your hands a few, um, you know, extra seconds or maybe even soaking your feet. Um, sound healing helps to release any blocks from the physical body as well as our emotional body. Um, so be very gentle with yourself the rest of the day, but you're welcome to enjoy this. There's three now because we started in January. Um, so you're welcome to enjoy all of these sessions that are saved on the timeline. There's many, many, many things that Living Well does for the community. That's all on their website. I know they post that Monday motivation and, and different speakers with different doctors and um, so check out all of their programs. It's amazing. I've been uh, part of this organization for many years now and very um, blessed and grateful that they are part of our community. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching with us this afternoon. And we will see you again the first Thursday of April. Is that April? Hopefully not April Fool's Day. I don't know when it falls on. But um, so join us then. It's the first Thursday of every month at one o'clock. And again, any questions, comments, suggestions, you're welcome to leave below. And we will see you next month, everybody. So take care of yourself and each other. Namaste.